In this video, we're going to create our first part. You should have draw, um, the drawing lathe part one with you so that you have the necessary dimensions and know the overall shape of this part. We're going to begin by going to File, New, and we're going to create a part, a 3D representation of a single design component. Click OK, and it will open the new part. And as you can see right now, I have nothing drawn. I'm going to suggest using the pause button as you move through this uh, for the different steps. That way you can listen and watch a portion, pause the video, and then go ahead and um, create whatever um, section or whatever piece of this component that we're going to be making at that time. So I'm going to start off. This is going to be a revolved part because it is cylindrical in nature and going to be turned on a lathe. So I'm going to start off by creating a sketch. I'm going to choose my sketch menu from the top and I'm going to click this button right here on the left hand side that says sketch. This opens up a sketch and it's going to ask us to select a plane on which to create our sketch for the entity. Let's go ahead and draw this in the front plane. So using my cursor by clicking where it says front plane it's going to open a view. Uh, we're looking at this part directly from the front right now. You're always going to know if you are in a sketch mode because you can see on my bottom here it says edit sketch in the lower right corner. I also have this verification area in the right corner of my window um, telling me that I am in a sketch. So we're going to start off um, when we look at a lathe part from the side we only need to draw half of this part. Um, because it's actually going to be revolved around an axis 360 degrees. So I'm going to start off by creating a line. I'm going to use the little drop down arrow next to the line and I'm going to create a center line that we're going to use to um, act as the center point of this part. So I'm going to click on my origin and come straight out and you'll notice this will snap to a perfectly horizontal line. And I left click again to end this line and you can see it wants to connect another line to it. At this point I can press escape to end this center line. I'm now going to draw the rough profile of this part. I'm not going to add the rounded corner yet. I'm going to do that later on. So I'm going to start off by clicking line again and I'm just going to draw the top of this shape. So I'm going to start at the beginning of my center line and I'm going to come up and I'm just going to click each time I wish to end this section. Don't worry about dimensions right now. Just draw the rough shape of this part. And notice I've drawn it without that rounded corner in here. I'm going to escape to end. On your um, plans, this is a rounded corner. I'm going to draw that afterwards. So now we have this rough profile created. Let's go ahead and add some dimensions. I'm going to click Smart Dimension. And I'm going to start by giving this part my um, linear or my horizontal dimensions. So I'm going to click this endpoint and come to click this endpoint. And I'm going to drag this straight up. And when I click, it's going to open up a dialog box and I can enter my overall size. I'm now going to begin creating my other dimensions. By clicking each point, dragging the line up, And because I um, have given my overall dimension already, this section here should equal exactly 0.25. When I'm finished with these dimensions, escape, and I now have all of my horizontal dimensions in place. 
we're now going to place our vertical dimensions. So again, I stay, I click smart dimension, or you can see the button is depressed. I'm already in smart dimension. I'm going to click each section. So I'm going to click this top line. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to click my center line. And if I were to put my dimension in here, all right, it would be an actual dimension. By dragging down, you notice how that arrow dropped down. I'm now giving this a diameter dimension. If I was above the center line, this would be a radial dimension, giving the radius of the part. I want the diameter, so I'm going to come, drag down, click, and enter the value for my diameter. I'm going to do this for each section of my part. And if you make a mistake, you can just hit escape at any time. Go back into smart dimension. And I now have this part roughly drawn. All right, I exit smart dimension. The last thing I'm going to do to this sketch is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this rounded corner now. To add that rounded corner, I simply come up to where it says sketch fillet. Right, and I want to click the drop down arrow. I want to add a fillet. And I'm going to get the sketch fillet box option here. I can add my fillet radius, which is 0.1. That value is already in. And I do not want to keep constrained corners. And now I'm going to click the two lines where my fillet will be added. And when I'm finished, I click the check arrow in the top of the fillet box. So I've now created the sketch that I am going to use to revolve this part. I can either exit this sketch or I can go directly to features and I'm going to revolve. Click revolve. It's going to say the sketch is currently open. Say yes. And you're going to see it's going to give you a preview of what this is going to look like. We want to make sure that we have 360 degrees in our angle. One direction. When we're done, we click the check box. And you can see we've already created this simple three-dimensional part. Save the part by going to File, Save As. I'm just going to drop this on my desktop and I will call this lathe part one. Save. That is the end of this lesson. In our next lesson, we're going to take this part and make an assembly from this drawing.